Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the rolling farmland, the Amish community, the wonderful restaurants, the eccentric city, and of course there's some cons too, and that's what this video is all about, talking about the pros and the cons of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Hello again, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Matt Moore with The Moore Group, a real estate team based right here in the beautiful Lancaster County, Pennsylvania area. And now if you've been a follower of my channel or maybe you're just stumbling upon this channel just now, you might or might not already know that I've done a pros and cons video about Lancaster. However, it was all the way back in 2020 when this video was updated. So I figured at this point, it's early 2023, let's do an updated version of the pros and cons. And while some of the same pros and cons still remain true, from that previous video, I have updated a little bit here with some of the latest and greatest of what's going on here in Lancaster, what makes it great, what things could be improved. And before I dive into the list, I just wanna say this, we are helping people all the time who are moving to or relocating within right here into Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And if that's you, we'd love to have a conversation with you. We are connecting with people that are all over the country, all over the world who are looking to move to the Lancaster area, whether it be a job relocation or you're looking to downsize, upsize, retirement, doesn't matter. Lancaster and our team, we are helping people all the time who are looking to do pretty much exactly the same that you're doing. Learn more about Lancaster, find out what's so great about it and what things are not so great about it. Let's be honest, no place in the world is a total utopia where everything is perfect. There's always pros and cons to wherever you can be in the country. Now, I live here in Lancaster. My wife and I, we built a family here. And of course, we've started our business here and grown a team, a real estate team that is, as we've gone through this. We absolutely love Lancaster, but it's not without its faults. And again, that's what this video is going to talk about. So first things first, let's talk about the pros. I wanna start with the things that we really love about the Lancaster area. And the very first thing is that healthcare. And it continues to get better, even from our video in 2020, back when the pandemic was going crazy, it still remains true even to today. In fact, it's even gotten better with the advent of another hospital system now making its presence known here in the Lancaster area. Of course, there's the Penn Medicine Group that's based out of downtown Lancaster and they have the major hospital, Lancaster General, right in downtown Lancaster and is one of the largest employers in Lancaster County. But there's a number of outpatient facilities that are satellite campuses all over Lancaster County itself, including urgent cares, specialty doctors, and of course the cancer center as well. Now, Penn Medicine is unique because they've actually partnered with University of Penn in Philadelphia so that people are getting world-class healthcare and access to world-class physicians. These are the same doctors and the same treatments that people are coming from in all over the world, but we can get it right here in Lancaster because of that partnership with the University of Penn in Philadelphia. So of course there's Penn Medicine, but there's also now Hershey Medical System that's beginning to make its way in, including Lancaster Medical Center, which just opened up a brand new hospital there on the northwest side of town. Has its own emergency room, has its own inpatient facilities, where if you needed the healthcare and you couldn't get to Lancaster General or you didn't want to go to Lancaster General Health System, Penn Medicine Health System, you had a different option. The bottom line is though, when it comes to healthcare, the options are there. There is world-class healthcare right here in Lancaster County. So if you need access to that healthcare, or if you just want it as a backboard or a safety net, you have the ability to get that right here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. The second great pro about living in the Lancaster area is how family friendly it really is. It is a family oriented community all across Lancaster County. And that includes having access to amusements and entertainment options, and of course, good restaurants and all of those kinds of things, some of which we'll break down a little further later in this video. But of course, Hershey Park is not far from here. And then you have Dutch Wonderland that's not far from the downtown Lancaster Central. Hershey Park being outside of Lancaster County, but certainly within a stone throw and now is becoming a coaster enthusiast destination all over the country. People are coming all the way to Hershey Park and yes, staying here in Lancaster to get there. The school systems here in Lancaster County are very good and some of course are better than others. If you're looking for a ranking system of what are the top school districts in the Lancaster County area, there are a number of websites which have put together these rankings. Of course, some of them algorithmic, anecdotal, and of course, based off reviews, but there's some good info in there. In fact, niche.com has one that tends to be pretty popular, which ranks those school districts from number one all the way down to the bottom of the list. But even still on average, the school districts here in Lancaster tend to be very good, which is great for families moving here. Now that brings me to my third pro, and that is how rich in diversity our community really is. Now, when you think Lancaster, you probably think farmlands or agriculture, and that is certainly a huge component to living in the Lancaster area. 
but I bet you may not have known that Lancaster is home to one of the highest concentrations of refugees of anywhere else in the United States. These are refugees from all over the world and they're settling in right here into the Lancaster area and becoming foundational pieces to help this community grow, to continue to see incredibly diverse events, bringing different cultures to life. And from someone like myself who grew up in a community that didn't have anything like that, it really is an eye-opening experience and it helps me and my family become a little bit more well-rounded to what's going on throughout the entire world. And with that rich diversity comes a high level of acceptance from no matter where you are, backgrounds or cultures or anything like that, generally tends to see a higher level of acceptance amongst the community from people from all walks of life, which is always a refreshing change, especially as you get outside of the big cities and you get into more of those rural locations. The closed mindedness isn't necessarily a huge component of Lancaster. Now, of course, don't get me wrong. That's not saying that every single person is totally open minded. Of course, there's some people out there that are not. But at the same time, generally speaking, it tends to be a very welcoming community as a whole. And with that welcoming comes my fourth pro, and that is that the people are very friendly here in general. And I'd say that because we work with clients who are coming in from all different walks of life, all different parts of the world, from anywhere from Dubai and the Emirates of the other side of the world to places like Canada and to Mexico. Even recently, we had some clients close on a house that were from Brazil. So we're working with people that are from all different walks of life within our country borders and outside of it too. And one thing continues to ring true every time we talk about what makes Lancaster so great from these people who are coming in from the outside. And they say, Matt, the people here are incredibly friendly. Matt, the people here are so welcoming. It's actually kind of strange because we're not used to that where we came from, especially for people who came from bigger cities as the city life doesn't necessarily translate to being welcoming and friendly. So we're definitely seeing more of an opposite of that. It tends to be what I would call the south of the north where people are very friendly in general and smile at you as you walk by. We'll hold doors open for you. It's kind of how our community is in general here across Lancaster County. And we really do love the friendly people. It creates a friendly environment to bring a family to or to plant roots. If maybe you're retiring and you want to be somewhere where people will be friendly in general, wave to you, smile to you, and all of those fun types of things that just make it feel like home. The next stop on the list of pros is the food. And I'm telling you, you will not be hungry if you live in the Lancaster area. Not only is Lancaster, of course, the city and the county home to some of the most incredible restaurants that you will ever eat in your entire life, but you also have access to farm to table type of food. In terms of farmer's markets, in terms of tapping into those roadside stands and getting a trunk full of produce for a fraction of the cost you would spend in the grocery stores. Lancaster truly has access to local produce, local products that taste fresh, that taste very good. And of course, when you combine that with the rich richness and diversity and the explosion of restaurants that we've seen across Lancaster County, you combine those two things together. And I'm telling you, the food here is incredible. Some of the restaurants that we've been able to, uh, been fortunate to eat at over the last couple of months, couple of years have just been mind blowing. In fact, so much so that even the New York Times has written articles on how great the restaurants are here in the Lancaster area. And if you're looking for some recommendations when you're coming to visit the area, just let me know. Send me an email, we'll put the information up here right on the screen, or shoot me a text message, whatever works best. I'd be happy to provide you a list of restaurant recommendations that I have kind of stocked away because we have a lot of people coming to the area to learn more about what Lancaster has to offer for them if they were to relocate to this area. Next up on the pros list is the fact that Lancaster is pretty central to a lot of great destinations. Of course, a lot of people come to Lancaster to be here for vacation, to check things out. But if you wanted to look outside of Lancaster and explore a little further, Washington DC, Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, all certainly within a day drive. So the major cities along the Interstate 95 corridor here in the Mid-Atlantic are all accessible for day trips. Now, of course, you also have access to the Pocono Mountains and the Central Mountains of the Alleghenies further to the west. So you're kind of in this location where no matter what time of the year it is, if it's too cold for the beach, you can go up to the mountains and go skiing or snowboarding. Uh, but if it is in the summer and that's not in tune, you can go hit the beach, you can go to the I-95 corridor. The Washington DC cherry blossoms are certainly a must check out item and certainly able to do that within a day trip. You can take the Amtrak station right out of downtown Lancaster, take that into Philadelphia and then zoom to the south, or you can just drive there yourself. And of course, those access to the big cities offers access to some of the big major airports in the area from Philadelphia International to Baltimore, Washington International, 
And of course you can get to Newark in about two, two and a half hours or so too. So you can get to some of these major hubs across our area to get to anywhere that you need to go in the world. And even here in the Lancaster area, we have Harrisburg International Airport, which doesn't fly to as many locations as those other airports, but has a plethora of flights to choose from, especially if you're looking to go down to Florida, to Mickey's house, or go to Tampa, St. Pete. There are some really cheap flights and it's easy access, very easy to get in and out of Harrisburg Airport. In terms of location, it's really central to a lot of different things, but you may find yourself wanting to stay in Lancaster and check out what it all has to offer. All right, my last on the pros list has to do with something I know a whole lot about, and that is real estate. Talking about housing, and the pro on this is that relative to some of the surrounding areas across the nation and relative to the national average, our housing here in Lancaster County is cheaper. It is more bang for your buck here in the Lancaster area than you would find elsewhere. Now we have a lot of people that are looking at Lancaster coming in from New York, New Jersey, parts of Maryland, down near Florida, California, Arizona. I say this because we work with clients from all of those states and more coming to the Lancaster area because they see the opportunity there where they can purchase a home and live in a place where it's not as expensive to live in when it comes to those home values. The median sale price, that's the middle number of all homes that are sold in Lancaster County is right around the 300,000 mark. And a $300,000 house will get you a three bedroom, two bath home, single family detached and in decent move in ready shape. Now I'll say this, because we have a lot of attention on our market, it still remains incredibly competitive for buyers. Not much inventory on the market right now. And of course, this is early 2023 recording. You might be watching this at a later time and it might be totally different. So of course you want to get in contact with a local real estate pro here in Lancaster. And again, if it's us, that's awesome. If it's not, no biggie, but you just wanna make sure you're in tune with what's going on in the market because of the fact that the market moves very, very quickly. People waiving contingencies, people bringing more cash to the table to cover appraisal gaps, and people going above asking price still incredibly common here in the Lancaster area. All right, and that's a great segue now going into the cons list, the things that, ooh, we cannot stand. We wish these things would change. And it does have to do with the popularity and the growth of Lancaster County. Now, kind of touching on what I said before, there's a lot of people moving here because of the home values being lower, because of the cost of living being lower, and all some of the great pros that make Lancaster, Lancaster. But with that comes the traffic. And the traffic, I'm telling you, I wrote recorded a video in 2020. It hasn't gotten any better. It has certainly gotten worse. And we've seen that traffic continue to be a little bit more problematic. And then there are some intersections that you will want to avoid at certain times of the day, particularly as you get just outside of Lancaster City, where we start to see some of the traffic getting to be kind of a nightmare or a headache. For example, traveling up and down Lidditz Pike, Route 501 during rush hour, pack your patience is what I'll say, because it can be very frustrating to go from stoplight to stoplight to stoplight, and what could be a couple mile drive might take you 10, 15, 20 minutes or more. Now I'll say this, Maybe you're coming from an area where the traffic is already really bad. Maybe you come to an area and you come to Lancaster and say, you guys have no idea what bad traffic is. And I've had those conversations with people. As a local here who's lived here, I feel like the traffic is getting worse over time because of the popularity and because, well, the infrastructure and the roads haven't really kept up with the amount of people who have been moving to this area and the growth that Lancaster has seen. It is something that happens consistently with communities that grow is that the roads become a problem. And with the popularity, the growth in demand comes the next con, con number two, and that is just the infrastructure or the uh, amount of businesses and things that sort of support all of these people in the area uh, really probably need more of it. Uh, for example, Costco here in Lancaster, we have one location and seven days a week, it is probably one of the worst places on the planet in terms of traffic, in terms of congestion, in terms of a lot of people going to these areas. I love Costco. My wife and I still have a membership there and we have a growing family. So Costco is kind of a given. It's something we kind of have to do, although really not a huge fan of having to brave the elements, so to speak, in terms of all of the people and all of the things. If we had a second Costco, probably would help a lot with alleviating some of that pressure. And the third con and the final con on the list is something that's very unique to Lancaster. And it is something that sometimes my wife and I look at each other and just get very frustrated about and it's the business hours here in Lancaster. Lancaster tends to be kind of a conservative place. And I'm not just talking about politically, I'm talking about pretty much across the spectrum. I'm talking about, uh, generally speaking, you're probably not gonna see a whole lot of nightlife, two, 3 a.m. kind of things. But that being said, you may also see limited hours during what you would expect to see businesses open. For example, Mondays and Tuesdays, there can be restaurants just flat out shut down, not seven days a week, 
five days a week and usually Mondays and Tuesdays are kind of the days where some of these things shut down. Now it's not saying all restaurants are like that, but occasionally, especially some of the favorites tend to have maybe one or two days during the week where they shut down completely. And of course, it's probably always on the day that you're hungry for that food too, or whatever the business is. So again, business hours tend to be a little bit fluctuating. I'll say this though, Google is a beautiful thing. You can always Google what these business hours are and find out when they're open and when they're closed. Certainly super helpful if you're looking to determine if a place is open or not. But that is certainly one thing that I had to get used to when I moved here all these years ago to learn more about the area is that some of these businesses will close at certain times of the day that you would expect them to be open. So that's it. That's the pros and cons list updated for now early 2023 and beyond. Of course, I'll continue to do these updates. So I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and hit that little alarm bell so you get alerted when new videos are produced because we're making content about Lancaster and the surrounding communities all the time. And we want you to be able to learn more about what makes Lancaster so amazing and so incredible. We love it here and we love helping people move here too. So if you're looking to get more information, if you're thinking about moving to or relocating within right here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, our team would love to get in contact with you. So here is our information. I'll put that right up on the screen call, text, email, smoke signal, carrier pigeon, whatever it takes, we would love to get in contact with you. We absolutely love it. We would love to help you realize your real estate goals and your dreams. And of course, if it's just a conversation, just to learn more, we're about that too. And you can reach out to us. Check out our website, themoregrouplancaster.com, where you can learn more about what our team has to offer and how we can help you through this process, whether it be buying, whether it be selling, or whether it be both. Our team is heavily focused on our clients winning. That's the most important thing to us all the time. And of course, we use high level marketing too. We love that kind of stuff. It's why you're watching this video here because of these marketing techniques. And we'd love to help you with your real estate visions and your goals. And again, if you just want to check out what we're all about and see what other people are saying about it, check out The More Group. Just Google it, The More Group, and see all of our reviews on there. Uh, lots of people saying some really great things about our team and about what makes the more group really great. So again, we'd love to help you too. And we'd love to be a part of that process and be guides. You guys are the heroes. We're the guides to help you get from point A to point Z. Again, my name is Matt Moore with the more group. We'd love to talk to you. So please get in contact with us and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and this channel. Thanks again for watching. Happy house hunting. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Take care.